Hello and welcome back to my channel, fellow reading warriors. My name is Laura and I'm so excited that you're here to join me for this video today because I am announcing my participation in the Reading Rush Challenge. I'm really excited to do this. It'll actually be my first year participating. If you don't know what that is, I'll have a link in the description to the video of the people who created it so you can learn from them. But otherwise, I'm going to go through a short overview of what it is. So basically, there's going to be one week at the end of July, and I believe it's the 22nd through 29th. Yes, bad at math, but yes. And there are seven different prompts for you to choose books from your TBR pile, your to be read pile, to read to fulfill this challenge. So the first one is actually purple on the cover. Read a book with purple on the cover. And I'm slightly sad because I just finished uh, The Bone Witch which has all kind of purple on its cover. Um, so I'm bummed about that, but I've chosen a different book that I've been meaning to read, and I'm really excited to read it anyway. It's called uh, Once Upon a Dream. It's part of the Twisted Tale series, and it is by Liz Braswell. I'm really excited because this is like a retelling of Sleeping Beauty, and she kind of puts her own spin on it, and it's the Twisted Tale. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of purple on the cover. The second prompt is to read in the same spot the entire time. That doesn't necessarily mean sitting down and reading one book in one sitting, but reading it in the same spot. So with that, and I'm probably going to end up doing that with one of these books that I'm already doing. For example, maybe this one, uh, because you can uh, overlap different books for different prompts or the same books for different prompts. Um, so I could be reading Once Upon a Dream in one spot and that would qualify. Uh, the third prompt is meant to read last year and I have plenty of books that I meant to read last year including again the Once Upon a Dream A Twisted Tale so I'm actually going to be using that for the first three prompts um, because I actually got that book as well as two others in the series um, from my parents for Christmas last year and I just haven't gotten to it yet. I read the Beauty and the Beast one and I think I have the Jafar one but I just haven't gotten there yet. So again, I will be reading that as I meant to read last year. Um, and then the fourth one is the author's first book. So you can choose any author you like and it's their first book published. So I did a little bit of research on some of my favorite authors and so for the author's first book, I decided to do Lauren DeStefano's first book, which is Wither in the Ch Chemical Garden Trilogy. So it's the first book in the trilogy, but it's also her first book published. And I'm really excited. I have read this before, but I've been meaning to reread it again. So it's on like my reread TBR pile. Um, so I'm really excited to be rereading this and hopefully the rest of the series once this challenge is over. The next one, the fifth one, is the non-human main character. And this can be anything as long as it's a non-human. So it could be an alien, it could be an animal, it could be something else, whatever. And it's just any sort of creature that is not human. And for that, I have chosen to do I Am Number Four by Pitacus Lore. I chose to do this one because, well, aliens and so therefore it qualifies um, but this was a very popular book that I bought and never read and so it's been sitting on my shelf and I've been sitting there like oh, I need to read it, I need to read it and I haven't done it so now I'm finally gonna do it I'm finally gonna read I am number four um, I know there's a movie on it and I haven't seen the movie because you want to read the book first um, so I'm really excited to read that one and then Number six, so prompt number six is five or more words in the title, and this can include the, a, of, or, and all those like little words, because those are words. Um, so for that one, I decided to do a book that my brother gave to me a while, while back, and I have been really wanting to read it, and I just haven't, and that is... Sykes Guide to the Crime Fighting for the Totally Unqualified. That definitely has five words in the title. And yes, it's based off the TV show Psych, and it's actually written by Sean Spencer with a little bit of Burton Guster in there. I don't know if like there's actual credit to actual authors, but so the character wrote it. 
and I'm just gonna assume that the actor wrote it, I don't really know, but um, it's gonna be hilarious, it's gonna be entertaining, it's gonna be interesting, and I'm really excited. So that's my five words in the title or more. And then prompt number seven, the last prompt, is read a book and watch the movie. And for the, I could do I'm number four with that, because there is a movie and I actually haven't seen it, but if I have the time, I would like to read another book. And I would actually love to read Peter Pan because it's such a classic. Peter Pan was written by J.M. Barrel. And it's, it's a shorter book. Like, how many pages is this? It's only like, not even 200 pages, it's like 150. So it's just a short little thing I could probably finish in like an hour or two. Um, I just really want to include it because, I, again, I've had it for a really long time and it's so short, but I've never actually read it. Um, and then I love old classic Disney movies, like any of the old ones as well as the new ones. I will watch Peter Pan and I will watch Moana, you know, all of them. So this is a really good excuse for me to watch the movie again. So those are the books I have chosen for this challenge. Again, you can always go and sign up on their website. I'll have that link in the description as well. And you get different badges for different things that you've completed. You can choose to read seven different books or you could find one or two books that qualify for like three or four of the things, kind of like what I have done with Once Upon a Dream. And it is only one week long. So if you do seven books, it would have to be around one book a day. Um, and I don't know if I have the time to read seven books in a week. I'm going to certainly try, but I think I only have one, two, three, four, five. I only have five books um, picked out, and one of them is really short and isn't really a requirement, but I'd like it to be. So yeah, uh, let me know, comment down below if you're doing the challenge and what books you're going to be doing for the challenge, because I'm really excited to like see what else is out there for these different prompts. So thank you so much for watching and I'm really excited to get started and I will be filming me reading this and kind of throughout the week of doing the challenge and my reactions to books and my reviews and stuff like that. So please continue to keep watching and I'm really excited to do this. All right, have a great day.